Bhopal lies at the heart of the Indian subcontinent. Two and a half million people call this green city home. As it transforms from the small town into an aspiring metropolis. But one of its residents is truly extraordinary. Many cities on earth are home to wild animals, but no other can claim to be home to the most majestic, most charismatic, biggest land predator of all, the Royal Bengal Tiger. The secret life of Bhopal Tigers. This magical tale begins inside Ratapani Forest, a wild reserve just 20 kilometers from Bhopal city. It's an ancient forest with thick canopy under whose light lives Nilgai, spotted deer, langur, antelopes, and many other bird species. Around 60 Bengal tigers are living inside this dark forest, but they are very hard to see. Their stripes blend right into the landscape. Tigers have always lived around Bhopal, sheltered by the Vindhya Hills. Historically, in the last 300 years and even earlier, there's not been a day where the city hasn't had tigers around it. Bhopal, if it loses its tigers, it is almost uh, losing part of its uh, soul. Together with the forest department, researchers are setting up remote cameras in Kurwa City Forest. Peacock, Nilgai, Four-Horn Antelope, Jackal, Porcupine, honey badger and leopard. Interesting results. Even 10 days in, the cameras don't reveal the predator they're hoping to glimpse. Tigers are notoriously hard to see in this urban jungle. Apart from the animals, lots of people, dogs, and also cattle are commonly recorded in the area. Then one sunny day, the king decides to reveal himself. It's flummoxed researchers. How are tigers sharing space with millions of people? And how long can they continue living like this? First of all, it's fascinating to understand how tigers are surviving in these urban spaces. And then what we realize is, indeed, they are much more resilient than we thought they are they are showing a lot of ability to adapt. So we should give them a lot of credit. One reason they can stay is that the area between the forest and the city is a mosaic. A mosaic that is ideal for tigers. Perennial streams, tree cover, rocky outcrops, which help them to navigate the landscape without being detected. What I mean is, the land has not been transformed to suit only one land use. There is both natural prey and domestic prey available in these landscapes. So competition for resources is fairly low in this area and is allowing tigers to live at much closer proximity to each other. And there is one resource that is even more abundant than within the forest itself, food for the tigers. Thousands of abandoned and unwanted cattle roam around Bhopal especially since the national ban on their slaughter. Some are housed in goshala or cattle shelters and come out in the day. Dairy farmers leave their cattle to graze here too, but they are the perfect meal. Narayan Prasad Yadav's family have herded cattle for several generations. पिछली साल भी तीन मार दिए थे एक इस बार घायल कर दिया एक गाय को भी मार दिया तो मिली नहीं 
One of his cows hasn't returned. He wonders if it could be the tiger his family thinks has been lurking around in the grazing area. It's going to be a long night. In the morning, his suspicion has been confirmed. The department staff spotted a dead cow in the forest. Researchers put their camera traps next to the dead animal. Yadav receives compensation from the forest department for his cow lost to the tiger. The department does this as part of a scheme to prevent herders from retaliating after a loss. Occasionally, herders have been found poisoning tigers and compensation has worked to prevent this. Over the last decade, it seems to be working here as very few cases of retaliation have been recorded. This road connects the city to Kurwa jungle and picnickers love it. By day, it fills up with city folk, loud and in large groups. They better leave before sunset though, because at night, Kurwa Jungle Road belongs to the wild. Every third tiger in India actually lives outside protected areas. The local forest department argues for the tiger using signboards everywhere. It's their job to keep both people and the tigers safe and away from each other. अब जंगल में आपकी गाय मवेशी जाएगी हमारे टाइगर खाएगा क्योंकि हम आपके घर हमारा जानवर नहीं पहुंचा आपका जानवर हमारे घर आ रहा तो ये हमारा घर है आप हमारे घर में मत आन दो मवेशी आपकी तो हमारा टाइगर नहीं खाएगा नहीं बाघ नहीं आएगा तो हमको बहुत बुरा लगेगा हमारे जंगल में पहले से बाघ रह रहा है आज भी रहेगा और बाघ रहना जरूरी है नहीं रहेगा ये जंगल उजड़ जाएगा जो पहले था वैसे ही अभी तो इतना घनघोर हो गया है पहले तो इतना छोटा छोटा पेड़ थे जब से अपने यहाँ बाघ आए हैं जब से अपने यहाँ बढ़िया हरियाली हो गई जंगल में और बाघ रहने से हमारे यहाँ मतलब हमारी राजधानी के अंदर खुशहाली है कि केरवा पे एक बाघ रहता है जैसे टाइगर हमारा बाहर निकल गया और बाहर निकल बाद वापिस आने की हम रोज़ पगमार देखते हैं तो फिर जिस दिन पगमार रहेगा सर आज अपने इधर आ गया तो बड़ा खुशी खुशी लगता है कि हाँ अपना भैया आ गया वापस बट द टाइगर्स आर एंड स्टॉपिंग एट द रूरल बाउंड्री द डार्क पेनिनसुला दे कॉल होम नाउ एक्सटेंड्स राइट इनटू द सिटी सराउंडेड बाय द ब्राइटेस्ट लाइट्स ऑफ भोपाल An educational institution has come up right beside where a nine-year-old tigress now lives, and she's not alone. Her two cubs are always in tow. अभी रिसेंटली जो इंसिडेंसेस हुए हैं हमारे जो देखने में आए हैं कि भाई कुछ हिस्से में भोज यूनिवर्सिटी में जो हमारा एक टाइगर मूव किया है और अब वो सब एडल्ट कंडीशन में है और अपनी टेरिटरी डिफाइन करने की उसमें और मदर से अब अलग होने की तैयारी चल रही है उस टाइगर की लाइक इन द मोर रूरल एरियाज द टाइगर्स ले लो इन द डे बट एज सुन एज द सन गोज डाउन दे बिगिन टू टेक ओवर द सिटी Tigers don't really like to confront people. I mean, they're just avoiding human spaces. I observed earlier in my uh, study in Panna, where it is mostly the the sub adults, uh, which are more adventurous, uh, which are uh, a lot more inexperienced. They take more risks and chances, and do things which the adult tigers would not do. And then they took more risks. I think mostly because of uh, inexperience. 
with experience, it would change. Cubs push the boundaries with each new generation. But how far can they push against all the machinery of an expanding city? Some suggest moving the animals elsewhere. Science underlying translocations is a very complex science. We are dealing with very highly territorial animals. So if you start removing these cats, where will you take them? So what is the point in taking out highly adaptive animals and opening up room for inexperienced animals to come and cause trouble or get into trouble? So translocations is really not an option at all. The future of tigers in Bhopal is linked to the local people. Planning the urban space around the tiger is the only way the tiger's future will be secure. The city planners have a favorable bent towards development. They do care about the animal, but they are not experts. If you go by the system that is adopted in India, it is a parliamentary democracy, where people choose their representative and the representatives make the laws. So, when it will come to a decision, the bent of the political class will always be towards the people who vote for them. So now these people are also looking for houses, and the animals are also looking for a place where they can eat, live and survive. Uh, rest, I don't have to say. I personally feel that the media has a very, very big role in creating awareness, also education, and providing the residents of Bhopal with, uh, with information that is useful for them to actually understand these animals, understand their behaviours, and, and find ways in which people can actually appreciate what they have. Sometimes you have uh, media writing uh, scary, sensational stories. Maybe the media personnel are not fully aware about, about these animals. They don't have reliable information about these animals. So there is always a chance of coexistence. For the last uh, 10, 20 years, the urban people of Bhopal and tiger and forest, uh, all of them are coexisting. In future also, they will coexist. There will always be a place where uh, the human settlement ends and the wild settlement start. So, um, you have to learn to coexist. If you read the Indian mythological books, you will find them living in the heart of the forest with the animals without a conflict. So, these are realities. So, definitely we can coexist. You can't tell the tiger what to do, but of course you can tell the humans what to do. The different stakeholders of Bhopal seem to share a view that people and tigers can coexist when spaces are created for both. It is very clear from stakeholder interviews that conserving wildlife in an urban landscape requires collaborative planning between urban planners and the forest department and others. It's a team effort. Regulating human activity in wildlife-sensitive areas around the city to daytime, ensuring that natural prey animals' numbers increase, corralling cattle at nighttime and grazing with herders, maintaining the varying land mosaics in the landscape, all these will keep direct wildlife-human interaction very low. The media has a big role in creating awareness and making people knowledgeable about urban wildlife. If the existing pro-conservation attitude of local people of Bhopal is maintained, there is hope for many wildlife species, including the tiger, to survive near the city. The city needs expansion to accommodate the increasing urban population. What will happen to local wildlife then? A whole lot of uh areas for human use and there is little left for wild animals. 
I hope and uh, pray that the new master plan that coming up for Bhopal keep some room for the wild animals also. Researchers are also working from the ground up to teach children about the unique society they inhabit. अगर तुम्हारे यहाँ से टाइगर निकाल दें तुम्हारे गांव के पास से तो कट जाएंगे या हिरन बढ़ जाएंगे बढ़ जाएंगे तो फिर कहाँ आएंगे खेत में आएंगे खेत बिगाड़ देंगे तो इस तरह से जंगल में शेर है तो जंगल नहीं कट रहा है जंगल नहीं कटेगा तो बारिश होगी अच्छी बारिश होगी तो पेड़ उगेंगे तुम्हारे नहर में पानी आएगा तो हुआ दोस्त की नहीं हुआ है ना बस दोस्ती करने नहीं आता वो बाघ को देख कर डर लगता है और ताकतवर भी लगता है वो बाघ मुझे इसलिए पसंद है जो खेती करते हैं ना लोग तो हिरन ये कोई भी शिकार खाने के लिए आता है ना तो बाघ उन, उनको भगाता है तो बाघ जंगल के लिए जरूरी है अगर वो नहीं होगा ना तो जो किसान है ना लकड़ी काट चाहिए उनको कुछ भी चाहिए तो लकड़ी काटेंगे तो जंगल तबाह होगा और हिरन को हिरन भी होंगे तो हिरन को कंट्रोल में रखता है वो तो बाघ से ही जंगल बचता है ह्यूमन हैबिटेशंस बढ़ रही हैं भोपाल के आसपास एंड इट्स वेरी नेचुरल आल्सो भोपालाइट्स आर इंक्रीजिंगली एक्सेप्टिंग द सिचुएशन एंड दे आर प्राउड ऑफ दिस सिचुएशन कि हमारे म्यूनिसिपल लिमिट्स में टाइगर्स हैं और इसके साथ जीना सीख रहे हैं ये फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट के लिए एक सक्सेस स्टोरी है इट इज ट्वाइट एंड दिटी लाइट्स ऑफ भोपाल ट्विंकल इन द डिस्टेंस आफ्टर हॉट डे लेजिंग इन द शेड द टाइगर इमर्जेस एंड वेंचर्स आउट इन सर्च ऑफ प्रे walks the same paths that during the day their human friends followed this magnificent site is unique to the city of bobal a fascinating behavioral pattern that has evolved into a balanced coexistence between human and predator every road every trail every path in city forest has tiger pug marks and people footprints and cattle hoof marks walking side by side and this coexistence can continue as long as people still want them and are willing to learn to live with this extraordinary predator in their city